So I just wanted to give you guys a look at the new TiVo interface with the 20.2 update that's just been pushed out to everyone. Um, not a lot has changed, but there's uh, a couple of cool new things um, and a couple of things that uh, I don't really like that they've changed. But uh, uh, one of the new things is the uh, some changes to the discovery bar up here. Some people like the discovery bar, some people don't. I actually kind of like it. Um, it helps me find new stuff that I wouldn't have thought of before. Um, if you've had TiVo for a while, you see there's now four things up here, and they don't scroll. That's all you get. For me, that makes it kind of useless. Um, I used to like actually scrolling through things, and uh, you know, sometimes I might find some things on the second page that I like. Now there's only four items. For me, that makes it less useful. I, I rarely check it anymore. Um, as I'm going, ar going around here, you can see the interface is faster, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, TiVo is pretty well known for making their boxes, you know, just as fast as they need to be. Um, this update makes it a lot faster from the, the software that my box came with. So I have a Premiere. Your mileage may vary if you have an HD or a different box. Um, but yeah, even even just stuff like moving around in the menus, uh, it's a lot quicker. There's still some hiccups every now and again, but uh, you know, uh, it's definitely better than it was. Um, let's go to the live guide. A lot of the new changes are are to the guide. Um, there's live TV here. You see on the bottom there's a new info bar that's in HD. Um, it's now at the bottom of the screen instead of up at the top. Um, that's what it looks like, the full size version. I actually like that a lot better. If you think of the way TV shows are framed, uh, you know, people's heads are normally at the top, so you don't want to cover up people's heads. It's better to have this stuff at the bottom. Here's the, uh, the new live guide. One thing I don't like about the, the new, or I'm sorry, this is the new grid guide. One thing I don't like about the new grid is uh, it no longer tells you whether a show is HD or not unless you actually navigate to it and then you see there's a little HD icon up in the info. But uh, it used to tell you um, what was HD, you know, right on the grid itself, which was helpful for channels like Food Network that do have kind of mixed programming and their SD stuff is stretched, which drives me crazy. Um, but overall, you know, it's an HD guide, which it used to be SD. It looks a lot better. It's, it's faster, you know, here I am paging through it. It's pretty quick. Uh, I have no complaints about the speed. Um, let me just go to a channel here so you can see how that works. Uh, American Dad. You know, it changes channels pretty quick if you just want to channel through stuff. I mean, that's that's my cable system. That's not the box. You see how fast the box itself actually does it. Uh, let's see, what else? I mean, most of the changes to this update, other than the guide, are... Uh, are kind of minor. Let me just show you guys the live guide since I mentioned it before and then didn't uh, didn't actually show it. Um, so that that was the grid guide. Some people prefer the live guide, so that's been updated also. Um, this is the live guide. You know, it used to show the guide over the show behind it, um, so you'd have the full screen of the show and then you'd have the guide come up over it. Now it has uh, you know this little corner box there. I like this better. Um, there are some people who like it the old way. You know, I'd rather I'd rather not have my show obscured. You can still see what's going on, but you know, you have the nice HD view of the guide. Um, so this is the new live guide. I prefer the grid guide. I've always preferred the grid guide. Um, but you know, the live guide is kind of the standard TiVo thing, so some people like it. Uh, Alright, what else? 
Uh, like I said, there's not much else major that's different. Um, I'll just show you, you know, this stuff looks pretty much the same as version 14.9. They've removed a couple of a uh, couple of collections that I thought were pretty useful. Um, there's no more top picks. There's no more favorites. Um, I actually did use those. I guess they thought it was redundant. Um, I'm not sure because there is still best bets this week. Um, you know, I, I use this. I like this. Um, one of the things that I like about TiVo is that it tells me what's on. You know, I had a cable DVR for a long time and I just could never, you know, you're kind of flying blind. You're just kind of clicking around the guide trying to find stuff to watch. So, you know, I like having a curated list of stuff. And you see it, it, it moves through a little faster than the 14.9 software did. Um, I really have no complaints about the speed. Uh, otherwise, everything's pretty much the same as it was. Um, you know, people find little things to nitpick. And if you read the TiVo community forums, um, there are people complaining about various things. Other people like various new things. I mean, it's kind of mixed. For me, I think it's a pretty good update. Um, I like having all the stuff that I normally use now in HD. I like having the guide in HD. There's not a lot of SD menus still left. Um, settings, some of the settings are still in SD, which is kind of annoying, but uh, you know, that's SD and you lose the, you lose the little corner box. Um, but big deal, it's the settings. Um, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good update, and it makes the box feel um, more sort of modern. It's, it's HD, it's faster. Um, I like it. And, uh, you know, TiVo was already the best DVR out there, in my opinion, um, because of how it organizes, um, you know, how it helps you find stuff to watch and organizes everything in one place. And now it just does that a little better than it did before. So, yeah, just wanted to show you guys, uh, anyone who doesn't have a TiVo and is thinking about getting one, this is what it's gonna be like when you get it. Um, it's a really good box. And, uh, yep, that's it. See you guys later.